guys and gals, Xavier here for Hum of the Earth. Signing in maybe 20 kilometers east of Maseru. And today begins a pretty amazing journey. At least I'm anticipating to be. Bicycling through Eastern Lesotho, which is the most mountainous part and from what I've heard from talking to the Basutu people, the most beautiful part of the country. It contains several mountain passes that are world renowned by 4x4 and motorcycle enthusiasts. They used to be gravel roads, but the Chinese have recently come and paved them. So, as someone riding a road bicycle, that makes me pretty happy. Should be quite the adventure. So it's the end of the day now. I've been keeping my eyes open for camping opportunities with uh, no avail. It's been pretty densely populated. And I've bicycled over 90 kilometers today, so I'm tired and wasn't really in a social mood. Not really feeling like entertaining a family of uh, Basutu tonight in exchange for uh, permission to camp on their property. So, I'm in the town of Laribe slash Lotz right now, which I kind of remember reading about when researching Lesotho, so I haven't seen the backpackers uh, on my map application, but Maybe I'll find something affordable. And if not, I'll probably just have to bite that bullet, which I don't feel terrible about because I've been pretty frugal during my time in South Africa and Lesotho so far. So once in a while, I can treat myself. So last night I thought of one more option. And I was writing and camping in my application and a place in fact was in uh, Chlotze. Bicycled there. Kind of thought it might be a red herring because there was only written camping. There wasn't like the name of a place. And it was this compound here. Which is a residential compound. They go to the gate. I ask about camping. They say, oh yeah, it's safe to camp here. No problem. I end up going inside here, setting up my tent. Uh, there's a few young men uh, living here who go to school here and they started a fire, started talking and eventually they realized they had a spare room and I ended up sleeping inside and got some great sleep. And this morning they offered to take me on a hike. How are they? How Sorry? are they? How what? Are the pictures? How are they? It's actually video. Oh, it's a video. Okay. Yeah. How are they? <laughs> now go to Tatuaban. Yeah. I. 
if you want it, then you just wind up a sexy body part. So, you write like you're holding your that was a pretty cool day that I had there hiking around Chlotze. Even though it was kind of by accident, I'm glad I did end up uh, staying with some Basutu. I find that when you're bicycle touring, asking to, to stay with people and committing yourself to uh, a lot of socializing is, is kind of like working out. You don't always feel like doing it, but once you get into it, you're enjoying yourself and you're glad that you did it. So, so far in the video, we've been in the lowlands of Lesotho would probably be considered highlands for most countries since we've been over a mile high. But today is when it really starts to go up. Like it's time to go down and up and over. Yesterday, making up the Motang Pass was a bit of a toughie. 
actually it was a lot of a toughie. I ended up getting to what I believed was the town of Oxbow just as it was getting dark. But it turned out it was only a uh, big lodge. So a lodge is, well at least in Lesotho, usually has dorms so a cheap place or cheap enough place to stay. But I got there and I had seen they had camping before but when I arrived they said they only had private rooms and it was uh, 1320 Rand per person which is the equivalent of 94 US dollars which is definitely not in my price range so I, I mentioned I see the camping that I'm willing to camp outside you know even if you're not doing it this time of the year uh, with no services the woman said no I begged and pleaded with her that it wasn't safe for me to go on but I couldn't pay that price so she eventually, uh, I guess, texts the owner and they ask how much I'm willing to pay. I say 400 and they eventually give me a room for 400 where I got to take a nice hot bath, which I hadn't had in a while. And that was amazing. But probably not as amazing as today is going to be. As we do another uh, difficult mountain pass which will almost assuredly afford us some more amazing views. Sela Pass, which will be the highest point, will reach the highest point in Lesotho and the highest point in Africa. It is also home to Africa. Very cold and windy. It's just blown off the road. The wind is crazy. Here's the Yaffe Ski Resort. Looks like a one run, one short run type of place. So last night I made it to this small kind of missionary town or something because they had a lodge that was uh, before the Molimo Lodge which is kind of more renowned but since it was dark didn't want to keep going on this rough road so I checked in asked how much it was, it was 300 for a room Seemed like a pretty good deal. I asked about a hot shower, he said yes. And a kitchen, he said yes, and that was great. So I cook my food. Then when he shows me the room, I ask again about the hot water, he says yes. And not only was there not uh, hot water, there was actually no running water in, in the place. 
Um, but they did uh, bring a bucket of water there to use for cooking and drinking and stuff, but uh, that was a little bit uh, disappointing, but did manage to clean myself with uh, the bucket of water and get some sleep until uh, the rats woke me up going through my stuff right next to my bed. But enough about rodents, more about road. So once we get back onto the paved highway, we'll be beginning the Sani Pass, the grand finale to our journey through beautiful Eastern Lesotho. Hola. Yesterday, even though I made it earlier than expected, here at the top of Sani Pass, but I looked over and I saw that gravel road, and I figured I should probably get some rest and tackle it tomorrow morning at my best, and get some sleep here at the Sani Top Backpackers where. Once again, the running water wasn't working. I guess it might be due to the temperatures at this time of the year. Bye bye Lesotho. You will be missed. So if you've been following the channel, you might know that I'm riding a road bicycle. And this next road here was going to be quite the challenge. Thankfully, yesterday, I met some uh, South Africans, Ron and Tracy, who offered to give me a lift, and I gladly accepted, because who knows how long this would have taken me, and if I would have made it intact. Pretty rocky road. about as much wildlife as you'll see in Lesotho because it is cold up here and right now we're actually in a no man's land in between South Africa and Lesotho which may be why this road is not paved Arrived alive in Underberg, bicycle included. It was a pretty tough uh, ride just sitting in the back of the truck. It was so bumpy that I have a bit of a headache, but it was better than the alternative. 
it would have taken me at least a long, long day walking down with the bicycle because the road was way too rocky and rough to bike to ride on with my bicycle. So big thanks to Ron and, and Stacy for kind of saving a, a damsel in distress here. And I might not have packed enough food for for the walk down, so could have been a rough situation. So Underberg will be where our next bicycling adventure will begin. So I ended up hanging out or spending the day with Ron and Tracy in Underberg. We were talking about our future plans and they mentioned that they were going to be driving by Durban uh, the next day and I asked him if I could tag along because going to Durban I heard good things about it and I wanted to do it as well as continuing up the north coast but unfortunately I only had one month left where I was allowed to remain in South Africa so I didn't, didn't think I had the time to do it but given that little boost uh, I now almost have the time to do it so I'm in Durban, excited to be here. There'll be some videos of Durban coming up next on the channel. But since that will be in South Africa, that will be in an upcoming video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this journey, bicycling through Eastern Lesotho. Definitely amazing, worth the, the hard work that it took to uh, climb those mountains on the bicycle. Lesotho is definitely a cool country that I will remember fondly. But my videos of Lesotho are, don't end here. There will be one more video of my awesome day hiking in Hlotse with some of the uh, hospitable young men uh, accompanying me. That was a pretty awesome day, so that's next up on the channel. And then after that, it will be the video of bicycling through uh, KwaZulu Natal. And I was here as part of my journey attempting to bicycle from Cape Town, uh, South Africa to Cairo, Egypt. And before that, I bicycled from Canada to Southern Argentina. If you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I've went and everything that I got to see and do, that's available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com where you can click on the different locations and see the blog posts and videos I've made of these places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures, bicycling through Africa, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video and click on the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos come out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.